Good afternoon, everyone. We are from Ruminant Group. Today, we are going to present about respiratory disease in dairy cow. First of all, let me introduce our members that are Tamon Wan, Apimya, Alisa, Pisini, and Pagamon. This is our line of this presentation today. Let's start with signal ment. Wang is five years old, host dietitian cow. Her weight is about 450 kilograms. She is now in seven months of pregnancy and in dry period. She came with respiratory disease signs that are cough, dyspnea, and trichipnea. So we were starting to do history checking. Let's talk about farm history first. After we investigated on 10 August, we found that the uh, temperature and humidity in this farm were high. This can cause uh, history in cows combined with a seasonal change that can lead to high risk of respiratory tract infection in cows. And there was a lumpy skin disease spread on this time one month ago, and a half died with unknown cause but suspect of respiratory disease. And later, there was another cow die. Her sign before that death were dyspnea and cough for two to three days, then seizure and die. For patient history, in 8 August, Wing shows sign of respiratory tract disease that are dyspnea, trichipnea, and cough. So the owner gave her tofenomic acid 15 milliliters at dose 1.33 milligrams per kilogram. After that, her sign was improved. And next step, we did the physical examination. Her mental status was bright, alert, and respond. And body condition score was 3 out of 5. She had normal hydration status. The temperature was 103 Fahrenheit that indicated a fever. After we did an auscultation at the abdomen, we found that rumen contraction rate was 3 times in 2 minutes with complete cycle. And respiratory rate was 58 breaths per minute with abdominal breathing, and she had increased on sound at cranial lung lobe. Her rate was 80 beats per minute. She had pink mucous membrane at CRT less than two seconds. In this video, you can see that cow has rapid respiration with abdominal breathing. So the problem list. Uh, so the problem lists are fever, cough, trichipnea, dyspnea, and increased lung sound. For initial assessment, the cough is associated with cardiovascular and respiratory system, but we can rule out cardiovascular system and take care by physical examination. So the first location of this problem is lung. The possible cause of lesion are pneumonia. Next is the tachypnea is associated with respiratory and metabolic system. The first location of respiratory system is lung. The possible cause of lesion are pneumonia and pulmonary edema. The location of metabolic system is any organ. Uh, the possible cause of lesion is hyperthermia. The dyspnea is associated with respiratory system. The location of this problem are upper respiratory system, lower respiratory system, oral space, and pulmonary parenchyma. But we can rule out upper and lower respiratory system and pleural space by physical examination. The possible cause of lesion are infection, inf inflammation, and pulmonary edema. 
the last one is increased lung sound. It's associated with respiratory system. The first location of this problem is lung. The possible cause of which are pneumonia and commonly edema. And now let's move to initial plans. We perform blood collection for health check through in infection and information by CDC and blood chemistry such as ST, ALT, ferritinine, and fibrinogen. And we also perform fecal examination for rheumatoid infestation. Next is revised assessment. In CVC, we found leukocytosis, monocytopenia, and eosinophenia. The other parameters are normal. And in serum biochemistry, we found hyperfibrinogenemia and low AST. And let's analyze the blood profile. Leukocytosis uh, can cause by uh, infection, <laughs> metabolic disorder, neoplasia, acute hemolysis, leukemia, trauma. The possible cause of monocytopenia are stress and inflammation. The possible cause of eosinophenia are stress, acute infection, and inflammation. And the possible cause of hyperinflammia is inflammation. And the possible cause of low AST in this case is not significant. In fecal examination, we found stone dye type A, so we have a cystic infestation. And next is revised problem list. We conclude that tachypnea was caused by a fever and pneumonia suspect bacterial infection. And we conclude that cough, dyspnea, increased lung sound, fever, leukocytosis, leukemia, eosinopenia and hyperfibrinogenemia were caused by pneumonia suspect bacterial infection and stone dye type A found was caused by parasitic infestation. Now we come to our diagnosis. So differential diagnosis, respiratory tract infection can come from many causes such as bacteria, virus, and parasites. So bacteria can be methane and hemolytic gas, Passerella, Matosida, Mycoplasma, Bovis, and Histophilasoma. An example of virus are infected bovine renal tract colitis or bovine herpes virus ones, bovine respiratory inside the virus, bovine viral diarrhea virus, and fly influenza 3. And for parasite, it can be the two called as virus. And next, we will go in detail with this etiology. Start with bacteria. First one is Manheimer hemolytica. It is gram negative broad bacteria that can produce leukotoxin and it can be lethal to alveolar macrophages, monocytes, and neutrophils. And the clinical sign I have shown. If we do necropsy and petal dye with Manheimer hemolytica, we will find fibrinoid cannula in 12, bronchial pneumonia with fibrinoid pruritus. Pasturella matosida, the importance of this bacteria is it can induce by stress and immunosuppression and clinical cyanide at home. If necessary, we can find chemioventral bronchopneumonia. Brown loba consolidation is excellent. This of Rastom 9 is gram negative broad bacteria. Clinical signs include tracheal rail due to mucoporin exudate and painful in the intercostal space. If necropsy, we can find fibrinite pruritus with rural effusion. Mycoplasma pneumonia include mycoplasma dyspar and mycoplasma bovis. It can induce this by stress and transportation. Specific lesion in necropsy and red bull firm area in cranial ventral lung wall. Now let's talk about virus. First, infection bovine renal tracheitis. Etiology is bovine herpes virus 1. It can affect upper airway and tracheal. Clinical sign are heavy serous nasal discharge to thick mucoporin discharge in 72 hour post infection, dry necrotic crusting, white plague in the nasal mucosa, and it can cause abortion. In lung necropsy, bronchiolitis and bronchiectasis can be seen. Also, gray yellow nodule in lung wall. Bovine respiratory inside the virus, this virus have acute onset, 
specific clinical signs in subcutaneous emphysema at dorsum, especially in the elevator. If necropsy, we can find the field bone for interstitial pneumonia. And the lung is poorly collapsed with consolidation effect all over. Make it slow while viral diarrhea virus. It is an INA virus in probability family. It's clinical sign of heart lymphomucosa or heart palate. Diarrhea, plus of muscle, for me, saliva, and me for nasal discharge. Palate breath three have clinical signs such as muscle and ocular diarrhea discharge. Recurrent and occasional rail in the lower lung field. For venomous pneumonia, we will talk about the geocolus viricarus. It is also called cattle lung wound, and cow can get infected by ingest dirt dead lava from grass. In lung necropsy, adult male and female room can be seen. This table is incident of ovarian respiratory disease in Thailand. Manhame hemolytica, calcellar motosida, histopilaxon 9, is found in cow with bow virus, respiratory disease complex. But in this paper, number of samples is too small. In its MSD veterinary website, say that manhame hemolytica serotype 1 is a bacteria most frequently isolated from the lung of cattle with bow virus, respiratory disease. Although lung less frequently cultured, Pasturella maltosida is also an important cause of the bacterial pneumonia. This of Rastomnan is being increasingly recognized as an important pathogen in bovine respiratory disease. So, over tentative diagnosis is bacterial pneumonia due to our physical examination, then we found increasing lung sound at cranial lung load. We do treatment trial that we will talk about next. Now it's treatment. Treatment we group drugs that they already have at the farm so they can continue giving a treatment. Big gap, such as for sodium at those 2.2 milligram per kilogram intramuscular SID for 17, and sulfenamic acid at those 2.2 milligram per kilogram intramuscular for three days. First, we um we have recommendation drug for weighing. It is funicin meclumin that it said that can be used for anti-inflammation, antipyretic, and antitoxin. And also in the similar study, it can use corticosteroid like hexamethasone and phenisone in the first three days for anti-inflammation and decrease mucus secretion. But this one can cause abortion, so we cannot get this because when it's pregnant. And last one is for the plan. We follow up when on the next day and she have improved her clinical sign. Her fever have dropped and the lung sound will improve. Five days later, we follow up online and owner said that they already gave her medicine every day and now her temperature was normal and no respiratory sign anymore. So our treatment have come in the right way. And because we found strong dialogue type A in PC examination, so we recommend this one to study warming program with ivermectin, dose 2 milligram per kilogram subcutaneous every three to six months, or we check PC examination before the warming again. In further plan, we can do bacterial culture of PCR to confirm the specific etiology of this case. For sample collection, both can obtain from trade to wash, nasal or nasal, Falingial swap and bronchial ovular lavas. And this is our reference. And our acknowledgement go to Professor Chavalit, Professor Bale, Professor Sutai Jai, Professor Jigamon, Dr. Shwawood, and Dr. Akrapong. Thank you for your attention.